children with Down syndrome um, are at higher risk for leukemia, so um, I was, I'm a nurse, and so I knew that when Bo was born, that would be something that we would need to look out for. And the doctors told us right away that his blood had showed some abnormalities, so that would require us to see hematology once a month, every month. And when he was 18 months old, we realized that his platelets and hemoglobin were changing and that, you know, we need to do a bone marrow and check him for AML, which is acute myeloid leukemia. In January of this year, 2015, they reported leukemic cells. It's overwhelming to take just that little bit of news in. Um, it, it's just, you, you, no matter how prepared you are, you're never prepared enough for that news. It was the scariest day of my life to hear your child's name and cancer in the same sentence is very terrifying. But I felt confident that they would take good care of him here and that Dr. Rog knew exactly what was going on and she had a plan, so that was the best thing about it. When we tested Bo, we found that he had that GATA1 mutation, which is important to find because children with the GATA1 mutation usually have a very good prognosis and they don't need a lot of treatment, which is very important in children with Down syndrome because they are very sensitive to chemotherapies. She would tell us every step that was going to happen and because this was the research that had been done and a lot of it right here at Riley. Uh, that was the amazing thing. You knew it was tried and true right here, so we weren't afraid to, you know, whatever recommendations they have, we went with it because we, we trusted them and their research. In the last four decades, uh, we've been treating all AML patients, whether adult or pediatrics, in very similar strategies. However, in the last five to six years, we've gone to personalized medicine, where you would take a patient that comes in with AML, take their DNA, and find out what changes have occurred and then based on those changes you will design therapy regimen that would be specific for that patient. Riley has come a long way over the last 20 to 30 years from a comprehensive children's hospital that provided excellent clinical care for kids throughout the state of Indiana to today not only that but an amazing research infrastructure and I think that is it's a very unique position to be in. There are a very small number of children's hospitals that are in that kind of position that are really, truly moving forward the science aimed at optimizing care of, of all children. I think it's the most important thing that you can do to help these children is to support the research because that's the only way that we, in the end, can help these children, even with little things like a test that can help, you know, make these parents not as anxious every single month. I never stop thinking that the research is done, that they researched all they can because there's never too much research that can go on. Because like I said, each individual case is different. You you need to be able to to know what how to handle each individual case and research will allow that to happen. If I could say anything to the donors that support Riley, it was to be thank you first of all for doing this because it may be why my child was able to you know, conquer this and to beat cancer. And, you know, we want to see more kids ringing the bell and having success just like Bo did.